we suspect. <laughs> we guess. <laughs> and Norton goes to the hole in Phil. No cotton, no white, but there are some guys in this lineup, certainly the young fellas, greater opportunity to One get shot. out and get some carry the load for six or seven minutes in a stretch if uh, if there is an injury and he has to step up and play. So a lot on the line, I still think, even though the result means very little. I saw it. Rim back out. Griffin. And he had his pocket pick. Brilliant stuff. Here's Travers again. Not this time off. Bray hands it up to Drimmick. To Griffin. To Johnson. And well read by Norton. Got the rise knowing that it was going to Johnson behind him. Kay back out. Clint Steindl again. Well, one thing that the Brisbane Bullets may have inadvertently done for the Perth Wildcats already is given them the blueprint of how to blow cans out. Him, but uh, that's probably the worst shooting streak of his short career so far. And again, even a game like tonight, just a little way to get himself going again. And Man to beat in this league and Plumley got the job done there under immense pressure with strength. And a bit of touch in the end. Cats get the stop. They've got a two for one chance here, Perth. Hand up, that was delightful. That kind of speed of ball movement. And the finish was this good by Pozoglu. Finished strongly, but they need to find something in their trick bag quickly. Okay, he's been awesome. Guys who are going to compete, and it's not the ideal start for them coming into the second half. And a good look from Norton. Starts down this end of the floor. Got to get stops, spark your running game, get some rhythm and flow into your offense. And Plumley with the jam. Just to rub some salt into the 36's wounds. Sixers actually shot 300 less threes than their opponents this season. So typically a Joey Wright Adelaide team want to get to the rim. They've done that. 320 less shots. That's 11 a game less than their opponent which makes today so oh, out of character oh. as well. alley Plumley, this time from Nick Kay's hand. Been breaking it down over the last few minutes, but look at this. I mean, it's it's all coming up Trevor Gleeson right now. You sit down, yep. Cotton, you sit down, White, and there's some other things you want to get done. No Bryce Cotton, no Tariqo White for the Wildcats. Spin move was unbelievably good by Taylor Britt. A steal and a couple of blocks for him. And the steal again. Steinl with the reach. Went and stole it. Now finished second regardless of a win or a loss in this final home game of the regular season. And Steinl the fadeaway too. Wants to put some boys in cotton wool here. With the finals in mind. Plumley not one that he will. Big minutes and a big bucket there. Very right, loving it. This is how he's wanted his team to play all season. Woody. Andrew Gay's MVP awards night. NBL's night of nights. Steinl from outside. That's how he started it. And that's how he wants to finish it. <laughs> oh, he's done such a great job of doing that over the years. They'll want that oh. from him in the finals as he sends that shot packing as well. Fourth quarter moments that we're so used to seeing from him. And this year, he has really bounced back, shooting the ball really well. The 36ers could steal it. And get a win in game 500 as coach for coach Joey Wright. Norton, and it rattles down. That was nasty. Yet another Wildcats win. And the reigning champions, you've got to beat the reigning champions to win the championship as that one's flipped up by Caleb. See what they can do to finish it here. Ooh. And the jam from Swakala Bullock. There you go, young fella.